Hello, my name is David Bailey of Bailey B Supply. We're going to be installing a three pound package today in this hive. Uh, today we have the ultimate hive stand. It has frame rest built in. Uh, you can use cinder blocks for your hive stand, but it hold, cinder blocks hold moisture and the bees don't like moisture. So we like using these ultimate hive stands. Uh, we are going to be using a Miller top feeder today with a ventilated inner cover. The ventilated inner cover gives you extra ventilation and also keeps the bees from robbing. So today we'll be installing the Miller top feeder on our hive. The method that we're going to use today that we're going to install is we're going to pull out four frames. We're going to put our queen on a frame with a rubber band and we're going to set the whole box down into the hive and we'll come back tomorrow and take out the box and it'll be empty. All the bees will climb out of the box and they will uh, take care of the queen, keep her warm tomorrow, you just come take the box out. Uh, and then in three days you want to come back and take, make sure the queen's been released from the cage. So I'm going to take this cover off and prepare, pull the frames out and we will uh, be installing the queen on one of these frames, setting the box right here. I'm going to grab a three pound package just over here in the shade. You have three pounds of bees here. Uh, you have a can of syrup and a queen. If you notice, there's some dead bees down here. The gentleman we buy our packages from, he shakes over three pounds of bees to accommodate for any bees that die until you get them in your package. You're going to have in a beehive two to five percent of your bees a day are going to die every day. A worker bee only lives six weeks in the summertime. And a queen will lay 2,000 eggs, 1,500 to 2,000 eggs a day. So every day you're going to have a two to five percent loss in your hive. Uh, that's why it's important to keep the hive healthy and the queen um, going with a lot of pollen and uh, sugar and uh, feed if they're not bringing in feed. We're going to take out this, take off this cover. It has staples. I like to bend my wires down. Uh, the queen is at the end of this uh, strap. We'll be taking the staple out of that. Uh, if you drop your queen in this cage, you have to reach down in and pick it up. So please don't drop the queen in. So right now we're going to take off uh, this cover and get our can of syrup and queen out. Okay, I'll lay that there for a second. Take this staple out. You want to shake your bees down. Uh, I'll hold that tab. I don't want the queen falling in. And then you want to pull the can of syrup out. Set her in the shade. Cover up your hole. <clears throat> now you want to inspect your queen. Uh, we sell queens that are marked. Um, you can see the queen right here. She's uh, very much alive and well and anxious to get out of this cage. Uh, we already have one dead worker in there. You never want to install the queen with the candy end down. Uh, if the workers die and stop to hold up, the queen won't get out she'll die. So we uh, take the cork out of the candy end. I want to set this down in front of the hive right quick. And then I'll take a frame out. I've got a rubber band in my pocket. I like to keep the queen in the shade. You want to put the queen in the middle of the cage. You want to put the candy in up. You can install it like this, or you can install her flat like that. You do not want to install her face down where the bees can't get to her and 
uh, take care of her. But you want to go ahead and stick her in the hive here. And then we're going to take our, uh, our bees and we're going to set the whole box right down in the hive. And we're going to take our can and our lid off. We're going to put our feeder on. You always want your hive level side to side and tilted slightly forward. Or if it's tilted slightly back, you want to turn your feeder because this feed runs downhill. The bees climb up inside the hive down and that's the way they drink the sugar water. So I'm going to remove this and set the feeder right on top. But you can see the bees. They're already coming up out of the hole. If you want to get a close up of that before I cover it up, I'm going to move my hive tool. But they will come right out of there and you can just remove that box tomorrow. This is one method of feeding. We want to uh, put this on so the uh, bees can't get in and rob. And you can pour the sugar water right through there. I'm going to take this can of syrup take my hive tool and open it up and let it be draining in there and I got some sugar syrup that I'm going to pour some in here. I don't want to fill it all the way up. I want to put about a half a gallon in until tomorrow when I take that box out and then I can fill it all the way up and top it off. Uh, but that's how we install a package by putting the box in. That way uh, We'll be showing another video here in a few minutes about shaking packages. Uh, but as soon as this drains, um, we will cover this up. Enjoy beekeeping. Thank you. Visit us at baileybeesupply.com. You want to put the cover on? Oh, yep. Yeah. I'll go ahead and put the cover on. It's right here beside. And that's basically an installed package. Uh, come visit us at baileybeesupply.com. We also have a store in Hillsboro, North Carolina, centrally located in North Carolina. Thanks.